Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, please like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. So, food is also a big form of art. I think it's probably the best form of art because it tastes so good when you eat it. Every other art form, you can't really interact with it in that way where you can taste it and just digest it. I don't know, I love food and it's why I can't have Ryan Reynolds' body or a six pack or look like David Beckham. But, that's neither here nor there. I've always been a huge fan of burritos and I love burritos and growing up my mom used to make us burritos all the time. So I something that's always been in my diet and usually they're very greasy but oh my god they taste so good. But uh, it got me to thinking you know what or when or how did the burrito start? So we know the word burrito comes from the word burro which means donkey and anytime you add the ITO makes it small like Burrito would be a small donkey like this big that I could carry like this. But yeah, but burrito started a long time ago. And the main ingredient is the tortilla. And the tortilla was developed in like a long time ago. The Aztec used it, used them. The Mayans used it. But it was made out of corn. And then the Spanish got here and flour got here. And then the tortilla became flour as well. So it kind of started evolving. And then with that, and back in the 1900s, in the north of Mexico, los vaqueros or cowboys used to eat their food wrapped in a tortilla, which was mainly like machaca, which is like dried up meat and things like that. But the actual burrito, I guess, started in El Paso. Not in El Paso, I'm sorry. I always think, I confuse Juarez with El Paso because it's the same thing to me. But I love Juarez and shout out to everyone in Juarez and in El Paso. And the person who started making these was Juan Mendez. Juan Mendez used to make these burritos and pack them in his donkey and go to this somewhere else to sell them and that's where the term burrito got coined I guess when Juan Mendez used to take these the food that he was selling it was just food wrapped in a tortilla and that he I guess because he was on a burrito I don't know on a not a I guess because he was on a burro according to BuzzFeed Juan Mendez was the one who started the burrito and the burrito made its way to America and into a restaurant menu in 1930. And in 1960, the English Dictionary added the word burrito to its pages in the B section. So that's how the burrito started, and now everybody loves burritos, and now I'm gonna eat a burrito. And I like getting burritos like for mom and pop shops because I feel like they're better. So I got this combination burrito that has like egg, bacon, potato, and a lot of other things, beans. But I have a weird, weird relationship with egg or eggs because sometimes I don't like them because I think about how that little egg turns into a little chicken and then that grosses me out a lot. But there's sometimes where I don't care and I just eat it. And like I think today is one of those days. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god, I want to be a vegetarian so bad. Just because I'm against how they treat animals. The bacon tastes so good and it's really hard. I also like really spicy food. So you can't forget the salsa. You know, now that I think about it, I've never made a burrito, actually. But I'm a really good cook. I have swell culinary skills. Oops, I think I put too much salsa. So good. But, I'm not going to eat it all because I got another one. And if I eat it all, I'm going to get full. And then I won't want to taste my other one. This other one is chorizo. Again, from the pit. Oh my god, I'm so sorry bean and cheese and bean is a good source of protein so maybe then I will get fit it's super yummy mm. Mm, 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 mm. oh it's so good and some salsa oh my god I don't even know which one I like better maybe this one because I only have to feel bad about the bacon and the I mean about the pig and the uh, chorizo and the other one I have to worry about the pig and the egg from the chicken I wish there was a more humane way of like killing these animals. And there probably is, but I guess it's just probably not cost effective. Everything is, is about money in this world. And I hate that. It's 
so good. Well, anyway, I think I'm already full. Tell me what your favorite burrito is and where you get it. And make sure you watch all the other content in my channel. And until next time, adios y bye.